Good day to all and welcome to another of my tutorials. Nigel is my name and my tutorial today will be on the installation of roaming profile and the home folder. I have here three machines up, server 2008, Windows 7 client and Vista client. So let me quickly highlight what's a roaming profile. A roaming profile is basically a shared network location where users' personalized settings are stored. When the user logs onto the server via any network machine, the desktop accesses their roaming profile and loads their customized settings. When the user logs off the network, their roaming profile is updated with any modifications made and copied back to the server, ensuring that they always have access to their renewed settings. Okay, look, so let's begin. So you're going to click on my computer and I'm going to use my D drive, data drive, seeing that there's so much space there available and create a new folder. I'm going to call it Win 7 Roaming Profile. Now I'm going to right click, click share and you can choose either everyone or if you know the name of the client you're going to choose, you can just type in the name Win 7 Clients and you're going to select the co-owner permission level and click share and click done and I'm going to right click click properties sharing and you're going to copy the network part of course we're going to use it later on so from here we're going to open the start menu move to administrative tools and select the active directory users and computers into the Windows 7 client, right click and select properties and open the profile tab. Now here in the text box, you paste the profile path and you have one of two options. You could either type in the name of the client directly, Windows 7 client and click apply or you have the backslash, percent sign, username, percent sign, click apply and it automatically generates the username of the client that you have chosen and you click OK. Now you are going to log on the Windows 7 machine. Firstly, to test out if the room provides work, I'm going to change the background. I'm going to put a solid color. Also, I'm going to create a folder on the desktop and call it test. And within that folder, going to create a text document called that test also type in something in there this is a test please verify Now I'm going to log out the Windows 7 machine. I'm going to log in the Vista machine. So 
switch user as a name win seven clients. Right, so you can see that the settings from the Windows 7 machine has been transferred to the Vista client machine using the roaming profile. You see the desktop, same blue color, there's a test folder, there's a test document. Test socks. Successful. We can also see, right click on computer icon, properties, select advanced system settings, select user profiles, desktop settings related to log on, click on settings, and you will see right here, Windows 7 client, type roaming, status, roaming. Click OK. So what I'm going to do here again is change the desktop background on this side which is a different color log off and log back in the Windows 7 machine So as you can see, the desktop has changed again. Check the test documents, test successful. Let's check the computer properties. Windows 7 client, roaming, roaming. So my roaming profile for my Windows 7 client is working perfectly. So now we're going to move on to home folder so just a highlight on home folder home folders also known as home directories make it easier for an administrator to back up client files and manage their accounts by collecting their data into one central location assigning a home folder to a user on a server makes backup and recovery of data easier and more reliable especially in the unforeseen event that a client machine crashes so on the same D drive, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to name it Win7. Home folder. Right click. Share. Gonna add Win7. Clients set the permission level to a co-owner. Click share. Finish. Now I'm gonna double click on home folder and select the folder path to copy. Open Active Directories and Users and Computers. Right click on Windows Client again. Go into Properties. Go into Profile. Now there are two ways you could do this. You could either take it from the local path, which I just did. Right click and paste. And you can type in the username. or the other method that I showed you earlier with the roaming profile or you could use the connect path option just right click on the folder properties sharing copy the network path Uh, 
and then sealing it with black right here you, you could also choose a drive letter i'll leave it as a default z and again backslash and you could type in the username seven clients or but for this tutorial I'll be using the other method via the local path this backslash then seven clients click apply okay So I'm going to log into the Windows 7 machine. Click on my computer. Select Map Network Drive. Select my drive letter. Click Browse. on the network select server 2008 and you proceed to where you see the Windows 7 home folder and click OK and click finish here you can see the Windows 7 home folder that's on the server a folder has been created Windows 7 client I'm now going to create a text document within this folder Silver Duck This is a test Let's see if Here you can also see the drive that's on the server so if you proceed on the server and go into the Windows 7 home folder you see the server document see that says this is a test which means the home folder is working perfectly so this concludes my tutorial on Roman profile and home folder this is Nigel Doyle, and I'm out.